Hey guys, Aaron from ADH Gaming here. I'm back checking out another Cooper Free running race. Today, going to be checking out the Lake Kingdom Master Cup. As usual, if you just want to beat the Golden Cooper, or you are trying to get a really good time here, hopefully this guide's going to help you out. I'm going to show you two different routes here, but I'm going to show you the first way of doing this, which is probably what most people would do to start with. So you just want to get across this area. Just try and be as quick as you can using some cappy throwing dives. You want to capture the zip, just unzip this complete area, drop down. We want to get into that centre bit and just ground pound a couple of times to drop down. Making sure you can grab an air bubble as well, it's quite important you do that. Then just kind of veer over to left, up this area and over to left again. Watching out for the seaweed as well. Now going this way, you're not going to get a great time, but you can still beat the Golden Cooper. If that is all you care about, just do it like this. So head over to a cheap cheap and capture one. And then just continuously swim forward. If you want to shake the controller, you can get a little bit of a boost there. But we just want to continue heading over to the platform right over in the distance. And there is a flower on top of it, so we need to exit the cheap cheap. Jump on the flower, get across over here. There's another flower we need to get to. Like so. Jump across the gap here. One more flower to go. And just basically try and get some motion control roll straight into the goal. As you can see, the time isn't great. But as I said before, if you don't care about getting a good time, then that should do the job. But if you're not happy with that time, I'm going to show you a much better way of doing this. I'm going to show you two different ways of doing it, actually, because it's quite tricky to pull off. So we want to start off with a roll, maybe a long jump and a triple jump. Then a cappy throw and a dive. Do a motion control row across this area, maybe a long jump at the end, and you want to get over this area as quick as possible. There's this little island here. Now, once we get to the island, you want to kind of line yourself up, get a triple jump in, cappy throw, and dive over here, activate the flower, then just roll up into the goal. I know it looks quite easy there, it might take a few goes to get right, but there still is a much quicker way of doing this, it just takes a lot of practice. So we're going to pretty much do exactly what we just did there, but going to take a slight detour. So again, we're going to start off with a, a roll here, a long jump, a triple jump, then a cappy throw and dive, dive again, roll across this area, but we want to kind of veer over to the right here, or straight forward. Now what you need to do is get a dive in to give you enough height to throw your cappy out and jump off the wall, throw your cappy, jump back up onto that area and then just roll straight into the goal. Now, as you can see, I've got a really good time there. You can definitely improve upon this, but if you were struggling getting up onto that platform, I'm going to go a bit more into detail and hopefully help you out here. I'm not going to lie, pulling this off is quite difficult, so you're going to need quite a bit of practice. It's all down to the timing, basically. So head over this way. You need to get a dive into the water. Once you jump back out, use that added momentum to boost you up here. Cappy throw and dive jump off the wall, throw your cappy out and dive again. You might need to trigger the flower by actually hitting it with your cappy by the way. And then just roll straight into the goal. As you can see, yeah, that definitely is going to give you a good time here. But, but bear in mind, it will take some practice getting up onto that platform there. In any case, I really hope this video helped you out. Definitely want to hear some of your comments down below as well. Maybe give the video a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel as well, it would be great if you could subscribe. Thanks for watching.